Hey guys, Sean here, and this is Movements 101. So when you join the gym, it's all about basic movement patterns. So I'm just gonna run through, th a Z through just all the ones that we have, which is seven movements, six movements. So the first one is the squat. So facing the camera to start with. So Z's just gonna focus on pushing his hips back, pushing his knees out, and staying upright. Yeah, nice. So just do five. So see how his knees go over his toes. He's got this nice upright posture and he's pushing his bum back. Then we'll go side on. So you can see he's back from this position. Good, see how it's nice and straight there? So see how he starts, like he starts this exercise with his bum going back. Bum's, bum goes back, knees go out and he sits in the hole. Second one, we'll go to a hip hinge. Hip hinge is a fundamental movement for the kettlebell swing or the deadlift. So again, kind of facing the camera, similar to the squat, except now we, now we like, the focus is only just like a little knee bend. So hips go back and then torso goes forward. So we should feel more of a stretch down the back of his legs. Only just a little knee bend, but again, bum goes back and the back's straight. And let's go side on Z. So hips go back and straight back. Just a little knee bend, which you should be able to see from there. And third one, we'll go for a reverse lunge. So face the camera again. So this one is just a simple step backwards, sink into the lunge, all in one fluid movement. So the knee goes over the toe, sits back, and is, again, his back's nice and straight. And go side on. So you'll see his knee go over the toe. So this is what, so this is what is like is what will give him the balance. And he steps back. Good. Now the opposite, a forward lunge. Same thing. So we just load on the front leg a bit more. So we step forward. The knee stays in line with the body. Again, that knee will go over the toe. Upright posture. Yeah, perfect. And side on. Full range of motion as well, always, guys. So knee like as close to the floor as possible. Number five, we'll go for a reverse lunge, but kind of step behind, so we should feel it more in the hips. So let's go for the crossover lunge. So we step behind the front leg. Let's go a bit more, Z. There we go. So testing the balance a bit more, working that hip side. But everything's the same, straight back, knee over the toe. And side on. Yep, perfect. And then everyone's favorite, the bear crawl. The bear crawl, we see people doing a hips high, hips low. The focus is that you want to keep your hips nice and level throughout the whole movement. So hips, hips are down, knees go under the body. And then back. Perfect. So the next one I will look at is, is like a side lunge, so feet wide. And all he's gonna do is just focus on sitting back and down. So he, like, if he shifts his weight to one side, toes, toes, toes facing forward, heels down, trying to get as low as he can. With having that again, having that nice straight back and sitting into the movement. So what you can also do just to get a bit more range is just to rotate on the foot, on the foot round. So he rotates the foot round and he should be able to get a little bit lower. And then on the side. Nice. And let's get them from side on. So let's just do the normal one first. So hips go back. He sits into it. Should feel a stretch through your groin, also into your hips as well. Another side. And then go with the rotation. Down, so he rotates the foot down. And depending on how supple you are, you can either keep your heel down or you can lift your heel up just to get into the range. Perfect.